What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Adam's Garage. Today we're going to get back on the Ruby Red X5 here. I'm going to go over a few things about how I did the fenders, the front bumper area, and the rear bumper, and the spoiler. Stuff like that. It's a little quick video, but shouldn't take long. Follow me. Alright guys. The fender I chose is actually the original fender. I saw this design right here in a aftermarket fender, as you can see right here. I decided that, you know, I really like this idea, but I didn't want to spend the $400 for an extra fender to do this when I already have one. So I decided that I was going to do it, do it myself. I started out by just taking my fender, sanding it down to bare metal. Then I cut out the slits here, as you can see. And I used some bottom, some fiberglass and some uh, uh, fiberglass resin, and which then I, I just filled in the holes, got it all smoothed out, got it to where it matched the body line somewhat, both sides you can see here. I think it looks really good. I really like the way it makes it give a more aggressive stance to the car. It took a, a quite a bit of work to get it to look like this. Several, several hours of sanding. A few days actually, I believe. But it finally came out looking nice. As far as the bumper is concerned, This part right here is the part of which I had to fill in. Now this color right here, this is the original color. This is the first time I ever painted a car and it didn't turn out as well as I liked it to. But like I said, I, in the previous videos, I'm not a professional. So I learned through hard mistakes. I didn't really ask any advice. I like to learn things on my own as in my process. So. I'm going to repaint it with the process that I have now and give it a nice darker, more ruby red sparkle flake to it. But this part, as I said before, this is the part where I really did some extensive body work too. It came with a kit from Russia, I know Russia, but it came with a kit from Russia and it was a one piece for the 4.6 IS. It went all the way across here, all the way up into this point, all the way around. And I decided that it didn't fit very well. It was actually pretty shoddy work. So I just cut it up. I sectioned it right here and right here. And then I just screwed it into place. Once I screwed it into place and got it sitting right, I used a fiberglass Bondo resin. Got it smoothed up, finished in to where it looked seamless on both sides. Because this piece right here did not exist on the original bumper, nor did this part. In fact, it, uh, if you look over on the side, don't worry about the run, they'll get it fixed later. It came down all the way down through here. So I just filled it in and I just smoothed it all up right in this area. Get a nice contoured look to it, almost factory look. I think it looks a lot better than the factory look itself. This bumper is actually off of an 0504, I believe. The X5 itself is a 2001, so it has a different body style to it. This one, this is the updated version, the 04, 05, 06 version, I believe, as far as they went. And I just like this style better due to the fact that it had the contours for the headlights already built into the bumper instead of having to use that aftermarket. Just like an E46, the first generations where you had that uh, that little piece underneath the headlights. The back bumper, same thing, 4.6 IS. This piece right here all the way around, in fact it's hard to tell, I'm going to have to All the way around in this area is extended out a good three inches. But that piece I used as a one piece. It came to get as pretty as a one piece. It, it went together pretty well. I didn't really have much of an issue putting it on. I just 
Got it adhered into place and did the same process as I did with the uh, front bumper. And then I put this piece on. Now this was a two piece. Everything had to be fiberglass resined in. There was no bolt on, ready to go stuff for this car. Everything had to be done with bodywork, and extensive bodywork. Now as far as the um, fender flares, they had some as well for the 4.6 IS. It stuck out about that much, but they were just like glue on. I didn't want glue on. Instead, I chose to do the same thing, fiberglass them in, front and rear. I still have one more piece to put in. In fact, I actually have a piece right here. This piece is the last step to my fender flare. It actually goes in right about here, right on the bumper. Now we gotta get that clearanced, adjusted out so that it fits properly and matches up with the upper fender area. But I gotta wait till I can get that back bumper off so that I can finish this job. Other than that, like I said before, I painted the engine in this thing in a previous video. I think it came out pretty nice. It's got a good sound to it, healthy V8. I love it. But, you know, I know BMWs are for everybody. They always say, oh, it's the biggest crap box in the world. Well, I enjoy it. The interior is actually not bad. I didn't pay much for this car. I only paid $500 for this uh, BMW. It came out of uh, North Charleston, South Carolina. So whoever had this car before, they really screwed up because it was a running and driving car. Interior is rather nice, despite the being dusty, but that's what happens when it's in the shop. All leather seats, sunroof, The uh, wood grain trim, it's got some cracks in it, as per usual of a BMW, you can't have one without having some cracks in it. I've never seen one without them. I did color match the handles to the car. That's the original, the color that I chose first. The original color, like I said, was black in the previous video. But I color matched these. These were actually silver. I just took them off and painted them. But, anyways. That's uh, pretty much what I have done to the car as far as body work and everything has concerned. So tell me in the comments what you think. Think if I should do something different, think if I should do something more. Let me know. Anyways, to the next episode. Thank you.